Hi there, my name is Jacqueline and I'm the Director of Possibilities and Founder of Silk. We're going to talk about lingerie care. It's really important to hand wash your lingerie to make it last longer. And it's important to wash bras and sets every one to two wears, especially in the summer when you're building up natural body oils, sweat, invisible dirt, things like that, that you might not see on the garment, but we know is there. And the more frequently you wash your garment with soap, the longer it's going to last. So we're gonna talk about specifics of individual kinds of bras, padded lace sports bras, stretchy materials, and we're gonna talk about general tips about hand washing with soap. Today we're hand washing our neutral garments and we're gonna talk about some different fibers when we're washing and we're gonna talk about different thicknesses of padding to help us determine how we're gonna wash and dry. So first and foremost, we're gonna take about a cap full of soak in our basin and swoosh it around. So we're not using a ton, we're not trying to get a bubble bath. And the other thing that we're gonna do that's really important to washing lingerie is we're gonna take off our jewelry. And you'll see us do this in every video, but as much as we love our rings and our jewelry, we don't really want them catching in our lingerie when we're washing it. So that's a really important aspect to washing. We're swooshing around room temperature water. It's really important that I'm comfortable putting my hands in here because I'm gonna be doing it over and over again. And the number one thing that we hear about why people don't like to do their hand washing is because they don't like the actual process of sticking their hands in the water, getting that residue and build up on their hands and having to rinse their garment out over and over and over. As you'll see with our videos, we kind of go from start to finish without really moving and that's because soak is a no rinse wash. So I can put my hands in here and in the wash and in fact, I can pour soap right on my hands and it's got a really gentle, clean feel to it because of the way it's designed. So it's formulated with naturally derived biodegradable ingredients and consequently we're not getting any residue or buildup on our hands. So I can go right from doing a washing demo back to my everyday life because it's just a really clean simple formula. So I'm going to go ahead and put my garments in. So today we're going to wash a little fitted cami, we're going to wash a formed cup and we're going to wash a very thick padded cup as well. And so you'll notice with this one that I've made sure that I've closed the straps up so that these little clips are not getting caught in any of my lace and any of my other garments. As you can see, as I put the garments in the water, the color is changing and what that means is the water is saturating them. And you wanna make sure that there's enough water in your basin for the color to fully change, especially with a padded cup. You can see how it's not changing color entirely and that means that it hasn't been fully saturated and if it's not fully saturated then your soak's not getting all the way through. So with this we want to be able to gently squeeze the cup in the water while maintaining the cup shape to make sure that it's fully saturated. And the saturation helps because the soak bonds with the water and moves through the garment and we need the soak to move through the garment. So you can see even with this shapewear, it's not fully saturated yet because it kind of looks blotty like that. So we want to make sure that the garment gets entirely saturated and that's why we need enough water for the garments to float around and also why we leave them to soak for 15 to 20 minutes because that gives time for proper saturation. Okay, so welcome back. It's been about 15 minutes time lapse of course for you but 15 minutes for me that these garments have been soaking and we're gonna take them out in easiest to hardest to dry so I'm gonna start by taking out my shapewear and you might think that if I grab the straps first that it's easiest for me to just pull the garment out well we don't really want the weight of the water to be stretching the garment so I'm going to fully support the garment and take it out as one and let the water move its way through my hands so it may not seem like a big deal but over the life of the garment the less stretching that it does because of the weight of the water, the longer it's gonna last. And in this case, it's a, it's a traditional beautiful piece of male shapewear, but if this were a lace cami or a more decorative fiber or a more delicate fiber, you really don't wanna be pulling it out by the straps and you really don't want all this much water to be pulling on the fibers. So we hold the weight of the garment while the water comes out and we're gonna gently squeeze this garment. Again, we can squeeze it because I've got my straps out separately. There's no clips, there's no back band, there's no metal pieces, there's nothing extra on here, just the fiber themselves. So we're gently squeezing this to get as much water out as we can before we bring it over to our towel. When we bring this garment over to our towel, we want to put it in its most natural position. So we're gonna lay it out exactly as it would be if we were wearing it. So a nice clean straight line on the bottom and nice straight sides on the side. And if it's got a lining inside, we want that to be flat as well. We're gonna take the towel, we're gonna fold it over, and we're gonna roll up this garment. And we do that because that allows us to get the most water out at once. 
We're gonna give it a gentle squeeze to remove any excess water. And then when we roll it out, our garment will be ready to be put to dry. And we're not gonna hang this garment because the same thing happens. The weight of the water is still pulling on the garment. We're gonna, again, lie it on a flat surface. So a dry clean towel or a drying rack um, or any other flat sweater drying surface that you have at home, you want this garment to lay flat when it dries. If not, both sides are not drying really well, you could leave it for half the time on this side, then pick it up and flip it over on another dry towel so that the other side dries completely and you're ready to wear it again. And it's really important when you have a bra that you're carefully taking them out of the water because these two bras are getting entangled a little bit and we definitely don't want the clips and straps from one to touch the other one. So we're gonna lift it out really gently we're gonna use our hands to support the weight of the water as it comes out. We don't want to pick up a bra by a strap and pull it out of the water so that the weight of the water is adding tension and pulling on the bra. We always want to lift it up gently, supporting it. And especially something like this with a slight cup, we really don't want this to be distorted because of the water. So we're gonna gently squeeze it to get any of the excess water out of it. And with a cup like this, we're not gonna squeeze it really hard because we don't wanna deform the cup at all. When we bring this over to our towel, we're gonna to gently lay it out on our towel. And as you can see with the formed cups, if we were just to roll this up the way we would roll up shapewear or something that didn't have any structure to it, we would be causing stress and damage on these cups. So that's really what we don't wanna do. And if you notice, if I put my hand in here, I can get my hand to a similar shape to the cup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand underneath the towel and I'm gonna put it under the cup. And I'm going to, I'm essentially kind of scrumpling up the towel underneath it putting the cup on top and then folding a towel on top in order to press the cup in the most natural shape that the cup can be. And I'm doing this so that I'm not distorting the fibers and so that this bra is gonna last as long as possible. And then I'm gonna do that with the other cup with a new piece of towel. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the most water out of this garment before I put it to dry with the least amount of friction. As you can see after I've done that, the cups are sitting in a really nice position because the washing process has not distorted their shape at all. And that's really what the objective is of washing a cupped bra, whether it's a soft cup or a hard cup, is really to make sure that you're respecting, you're respecting the bra and you're respecting the shape of it when you're doing the washing. And then to put this bra to dry, we're gonna take out a new towel and a clean towel, and we're gonna set it like this. If it's not holding the structural form itself, we might again just want to roll up some towel to put it underneath the cup to give it a little structure like that and to help it dry in its most natural form so that it's in a good shape and ready to be worn again. We've got a nice push-up cup here soaking. It's a strapless bra and it's got nice thick push-up foam in it. So this is a really important piece for us to wash because sweat and invisible dirt can build up in this cup inside the bra and we might not see it and so we might not have the impression that it needs to be washed on a really regular basis, but in fact it does. Especially if this is a party bra for us and we've worn it dancing or we've worn it out to a summer party, we wanna make sure that we're getting the cup that's inside here fully washed. We've made sure before we started soaking that we closed up the straps on this bra. And we've closed them up because we don't want the little hooks catching any other parts of this bra or anything else that we've got soaking at the same time. With a bra with a shaped cup, when you take it out of the water, as you can imagine, there's a lot of water in this foam. So we don't wanna simply lift it up and have all kinds of water come out of the cup. We don't wanna use the garment to be lifting up the weight of the water. We wanna very gently lift it up, always supporting the garment with both hands. And at this point above the water, what we want to do is gently squeeze the foam to try to get any additional water out that we can. What's really important about this type of bra is that we are gently squeezing within the shape that it actually naturally is. We're not crumpling it, we're not folding it, we're not twisting it together. We wanna respect the shape of the wires, we wanna respect the shape of the curves, and we wanna respect the shape of the cone. So we're gonna just try to get as much water as we can out this way before we take it over to our towel. And for sure, it's gonna have lots of water in it, but that's why we've got the towel. 
With a bralette shape like this, when we take it over to the towel, we're going to undo it and lay it flat. That's the first thing we're gonna do. And as you can see, when I lay it flat, it's really not laying flat because the cup is still staying formed. And we don't wanna go push down on this cup because it's gonna distort the cup. And it may be fine the first time you do it, but if you wash this every one to two wears and it's one of your favorite bras, every time you push and squish this cup out of its form, you're distorting the fibers. And we really want the fibers to last long so that you can have your favorite bra last as long as it will. I'm gonna tuck the towel up into the cup so that it is supporting the cup in its actual shape. And then I'm gonna take the towel and fold it over onto the cup. And with that, I'm squeezing all the water out of the cup into the towel, but without distorting the shape of the actual cup itself. And we're gonna do that to both sides. Because the more respect that we have for the cup and the shape that it has now, the longer it's gonna last and the more support that it's gonna give us every time we wear it. We wanna make sure that the fabric on the upper layer is sitting exactly where it is. And then this bra we would put on a fresh towel out to lay flat like that to dry. You may notice that because of the foam cup, it does take a little bit longer to dry, but it's important to let it air dry completely and to keep it supported. If the cup isn't staying supported, again, you can put a fresh towel underneath it to dry, just to give it that little bit of extra structure that will allow it to hold its shape until it's fully dry and ready to wear again. 